tv.co.uk pay-per-view we present three three minute rounds of amateur action in the featherweight division this is fight star championship london introducing first fighting out of the blue corner at five feet seven inches tall making his amateur debut tonight representing mjolnir mma from Reykjavik, iceland Jeremy Ackleben. His opponent fighting across the cage in the red corner, five feet, ten inches tall, an amateur record, a single win to a single defeat. Representing 302 MMA from Tunbridge Wells, Callum Lorraine. When the action begins, your referee charge, Mr. Daniel Movahedi. Featherweight bout up next here at Fight Star Championships 13, Jeremy Aklepen with the black shorts, takes on Callum Hockian in the grey Hayabusa shorts. This one's sponsored by Berkeley Motors. I'm David Leatherby alongside me, Dean Midhart. Dean, Aklapen coming out of Molinar MMA, Gunnar Nelson in his corner, and an amazingly, a lot of support here, a lot of guys that have flown in to watch him. Yeah, he's excellent. They, have, they just bring everybody over. They just really support their athletes here in MMA. And they've come all the way over to support him here, and he's got some great footwork. You see this, the kind of the longer sort of stance, the bigger distance between his legs that allows him to move in and out of range more effectively and faster. Very bouncy on his feet is Ackerbin. Nice couple of low kicks thus far from Hockey and though. Heavy low kicks to start. Looks for another one. Callum standing nice and upright. It says to me that there he wants to implement the kicking game. What he wants to do is keep his weight and his balance in the correct position to fire the, the punches. But that's the problem with standing upright, is when somebody changes levels, you get taken down. Yeah, and holding onto that neck now, underneath his side control, never a good idea. Needs to let go of this, Dean, doesn't he? he Does starts, so. Yeah, it starts to work the underhooks here. Aklaben, known for his top pressure, but Callum did a great job there of retaining the full guard and stopping Aklavin from passing to a more advantageous position. Yeah, good work from Hockeyin. 1-1-0, one, one oh. Aklavin making his debut here, so slightly more experienced as Callum. And this full guard now. Aklavin trying to posture up, you see Callum holding the head there, switching from one arm to the double grips. Control the posture, he's looking for the armbar. Beautiful work from Hockeyen. Gives up on it. But looking busy. As you mentioned, Dean, just keeping that posture controlled, isn't he? Just stopping Aklapen getting any sort of real offense going. As soon as Aklapen can posture up, he can start to implement strikes and then guard passes. That's what Callum is trying to prevent. Controlling the left arm as well. Stop the strikes coming down towards the body and the head. Aklaben comes over the top quite nicely. Now he's got posture. Now he can start to do some damage and pass the guard. Relentless attack from Aklaben as he hits another beautiful takedown. Straight into side control this time. Let's see what he can work from the side control position. Heavy cross face there. Turn his opponent's head away. Hockian looking to sneak out the back door and get half guard, maybe. Callum now moving his hips quite well. He's got to be careful of the mount. Gets one elevator hook in, however. All Ackerben has got to do now is pass these ankles. Callum back to his feet. He's a big shot. Fantastic round of action. Another amateur fight here that looks extremely high level, Dean. Some fantastic takedowns from Aklapen, but also, as we said, some great work off his back from Hockeyen. Threaten with the arm bar, his guard retention was on point. This looks evenly matched again. You hear the Nordic screams in the background. Every MMA fan from Iceland just sounds like they're straight out of a death metal band. The Vikings have arrived. Yeah, certainly. Probably just saying underhooks or something, but from here it sounds absolutely savage. You 
Jersey, UFC superstar. Gunnar Nelson in the corner of Jeremy Aklapem. Aklapem taking some deep breaths here. Making use of this time. Again, looking very relaxed, Dean. Getting standing up upright. He's got to be careful about the double leg shot here from McLevin. Yeah, under amateur MMA, obviously, you haven't got the knees to the head to threaten the guy, have you? When you're upright like this, but you've got that kind of, you know, that Donald Cerrone knee. Looking for the guillotine. Callum's that looks tight. He's got that high elbow, but he needs to create some, some movement here. He needs to make sure that his hips start to escape to his right arm. Get that knee in, the leg over the top. But wow, Aklaben did a great job of defending that. Such a risky thing to do from Callum so early in the round. I mean, we mentioned all the time how important position can be. Just giving up that back position to somebody who's clearly looking to work from top position. You know this from him, looking for the takedowns. But, you know, it's all part of uh, the learning curve in amateur MMA. Then again, if he gets a tap from the guillotine, we're all applauding him, right? Yeah, I mean, it just shows confidence in his own skills, and you mm -hmm. need that when you're in a fight. Yeah. Callum working to his feet. He's going to try and get his legs underneath him, stand up. But think about letting go of that head and funneling for the underhooks on both sides. I'm very impressed with the uh, defensive jiu-jitsu from Callum, regaining guard, getting back to his feet. He's, um, as you said, he's not too nervous about being on his back because he's, he's quite quick to get away, isn't he? The guillotine must be his go-to move. He's always threatening that. You can see that even now. He's trying to threaten the guillotine. Once he clasps both those hands underneath the neck, he can turn Aklaben round and use the cage as leverage. But he's working the underhooks now. What he's trying to do is hike Aklaben back up. To take somebody down, you need your hips and your head lower than theirs to obtain an effective takedown. So that's what he's trying to do here. Great call, Dean, and Hockey and able to do that. Again, extremely confident. As you mentioned, very upright. Looks for that left hand there. That one landed. Nice jab from Hockey. And Low kick answer from Aklaven. And now again, looking around. But as you mentioned, Dean, Hockey and going for that neck. And he's got his respect now, hasn't he, with that? With that guillotine attempt. Callum's able to time these sprawls now. You can see there, he fires in the power, but he's in a squatted stance where he can move out of range and sprawl if he needs to. So Aklaben needs to start disguising these takedowns and level changes with strikes. Even if he uses fakes and feints, he's got to really do something decisive up top to go down below. You can see there, Callum's sprawl is second to none, moves his head out of danger. Yeah, beautiful short little left hand there from Hawking as well. He's gaining in confidence here, Dean, isn't he? Looks very smooth on the feet. I could have been backing up to the cage now. Yeah, looks a little tired for me, Dean, I think. You know, it's, it's a tough ask, isn't it? You're coming out here with your whole team. You've brought fans out here for your amateur debut. Inevitably dealing with an adrenaline dump at any level of MMA, but when it's your first one in a foreign country, and I think Hockey and he's had those, you know, I think it's one win, one loss in his record, and you can really tell, can't you, now? He's very confident and very relaxed at the moment. And uh, he feels like the tide might have turned in this one. Be interesting to see what the advice is from Gunnar Nelson here in the corner. I guess, indeed, from this point, they're going to be looking for the takedown, aren't they? They're going to be turning in to set his shots up. He's got to use strikes and decisive strikes. You can't just throw strikes out that pepper. As Callum has shown that he's got some good head movement. You really need to start landing those. Start working the jab to left hook, overhand right, close the distance and getting real close. Take that step forward to obtain the single or the double. Right, it's touch gloves for the third and final round. There we go, now Aklapen, he fired that right hand. And you can see Callum beckoning it on, that means it landed. Beckons teeing off here. Callum's beckoning him on and teeing off. He's 
did a great job of using long strikes and moving his hips back with the unhooks. Nice overhand right from Aklaben. Beautiful right hand from Callum. Really warming into this nice knee to the body. Aklaben shoots, but it's all a little too ragged and tired now, Dean, isn't it? As you mentioned, he's not setting that up with the strikes. Callum's seeing it coming off even from this upright stance, and he's picking it off now. I'd like to see Callum set that lead switch kick up, that left leg. As you can notice, Aklaben puts his head downwards as he wants to shoot and slips off to his right side, just like that. If Callum could time a left hook, or perhaps even a lead switch kick, he could have some success there. Aklapen looking very, very tired here on the cage wall. Beautiful head kick. Great Cordina then, wow! Right hand straight down the pipe from Callum Hockian. What a performance. Wow. What I like about that, Dean, as well, is he really warmed into the fight, didn't he? He didn't rush it. He got taken down a couple of times in the first round, I think it was. But he gained his confidence and... Wow, it just had that swagger about him on the feet, didn't he? And what a beautiful finish. Gauged the distance, gauged the timing. Didn't let his confidence falter on when he was on his back. And all he needed was to set up those strikes. Beautiful work from Callum. Sponsored by Burpee Motors. Inside the cage, round number three, our referee, Mr. Daniel Movahedi, call a stoppage in this bout, one minute, 21 seconds. Declaring your winner by TKO, Callum Horan.